Hey guys, it's Dee and I'm back. And today I'm making jalapeno poppers. And I have some jalapenos that I just diced up and I'm putting that in here. And that's it. I just hit it with a little bit of salt. But it's got a little twist. It's also Mexican cornbread. And it's served in a poblano cup. So this, instead of using a a muffin tin. I actually put everything in here. So right now I've taken half a package of Kraft Philadelphia cream cheese. Oh, and the dogs are excited I'm making this. That's a good thing. I don't think they like jalapenos though. I don't think that's going to work for them. Alright, so we're going to take this and you spoon it in. You spoon it in the bottom. And this comes out so nice and so creamy. And with the cornbread on top, it's just wonderful. I love to serve this as a side when I make anything. If we have tacos one night or anything that I make that has a little southwest twist on it, absolutely just stick this right down in here. And I know, get my fingers all in it, but I just want to get it pushed way down. There we go. Do this one. And this is this is such a good side dish. It really is. Everybody loves it. Everybody thinks it takes so much time, and it really doesn't. It's so easy. Easy to make. It's a little messy, but that's all good. Okay. We got that in there. Now it's time to whip up the cornbread. Give my hands a quick glance. All right. Now, on the cornbread, guys, if you want to, you can go ahead and you can buy a cornbread mix. That's fine. Um, usually those are pretty sweet, and I don't really like the sweet with this combination, so I make my own. And I just make, I take a cup of cornmeal, I take about a cup of cream corn, half to three quarters cup of milk, a couple tablespoons of oil, and I have one egg, and again I'm going to hit these a little bit of salt, okay, and a little bit of pepper. There we go. I'm going to mix this up and make sure that it's a, at a decent consistency. I don't want it too runny. If I have to, I can always go back and add a little bit more cornmeal. But I think this is going to turn out just about the right consistency. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I think I might need just a little bit more of the cornmeal. So I'm going to go ahead and just sprinkle some in. you got to look at it and see. You know, you, you take different recipes and you mix them up. And sometimes you have to add a little bit more, you know, and just work with it so it's, it's what you want. The final product is exactly what you want. Okay, and last, oh, I got some cheese. And I used, um, it's a Mexican three cheese combination. And again, jalapeno peppers. And this really gives it a good kick. And I love baking it off. It just gives it such a good smoky flavor. And it turns out just absolutely wonderful. So you're just going to spoon this on here. Just spoon it up on top. Make sure it gets down in there. There we go. That's perfect. We'll just keep filling them up. I have four here. That works for me. And everybody gets to have one. That's a good thing. All right. Almost done. And then all I'm going to do, guys, is I'm simply going to put them on a baking sheet, throw them in the oven, 350, and it only takes about maybe 10, 15 minutes. It's really not a long process for these to cook off. And But when they come out, I'm going to put a little bit more cheese on, put, pop them back in the oven so the cheese melts over the top, and they are so delicious. You're going to love them. Hey guys, I'm back. And we just got these peppers out of the oven. Like I said before, I pulled them out just a couple minutes before they were done. And I sprinkled more cheese on top and put them back in just enough for the cheese to melt. So now I'm going to show you the finished product. I just go in here and cut it. And if you see, 
oh, it's going to be so good and creamy. It's going to be absolutely delicious. There's that cream cheese down in the bottom, the Philadelphia cream cheese. Mm. Now this is so good. You can serve this, again, with any type of dish that you want to. It's a great side dish that just really adds a lot of flavor and a lot of fun. People love the presentation of it in the Poblano pepper cup. So enjoy. Have fun. That's what it's all about.